Of the 193 people tested for COVID-19 on Tuesday, only five returned positive results, which the Ministry of Health says bears a test positivity rate of 2.3%. This points to the positive trend the ministry is hoping will continue with the announcement by Health Minister Honorable Nicola Steele that once it does, the last bits of restrictions can be removed by April 4th on the advice of Cabinet. The Health Minister hopes that even when this becomes our new reality, Grenadians will continue to see the benefits of personal responsibility by practicing hand sanitizing and other precautionary measures. According to Minister Steele, although Grenada is in a better place as it relates to COVID, there is still need for preventative measures to ensure safety. Sanitizing of hands on entry, I think, is a good practice that we should keep with or without COVID. It can prevent so many other uh, uh, infectious diseases or contagious diseases. Mask wearing for vulnerable individuals when in public or persons who are experiencing symptoms of some form or other uh, should be something that, that, that we could look at as, as holding on to, not as a law, but as a good practice. Vaccinations within the hospitality sector as well for the various contagious diseases um, where vaccines are available, I think is a very good practice that should be maintained. Minister Steele said government will not intervene in situations where business owners decide to maintain COVID-19 protocols after April 4th. He said it is their right to dictate the conditions under which they wish to operate their business. The management or owners of those places have a right to dictate the conditions for entry. We're very much aware of places where persons say you must wear shirt, full shirt, or you must wear shoes, etc., and so to enter. We respect and would not interfere with any institution or any private establishment saying that they still would want to have in their in the interest of their patrons or their employees or, or, or those who, who are there, their members, that you must be vaccinated to enter. That would be the right of the individual. To, to insist on that. So whether it is a, a private institution, office, a, a bar, restaurant, school, church, uh, home for the age, um, those entities still have the right and we respect that because as Dr. Charles has said, we're not, we're not out of the pandemic. We're trying to get to that new norm with the pandemic.